ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today, we have a special play for you. There are four good friends. Silas, the lucky go happy photographer. Nathan, the charming playboy. Tracy, the luscious gold digger. And Alan, the glue that holds them together. What will happen to this happy group? Enjoy the drama. Who's next? Everyone looks so good. How do I look? Nathan, you can be such an artistic. More than any girl I know. He's so right, Nathan. You care so much. It's hilarious. Anyways, guys, how have you been doing? It's been a long week for me. Too much stress in this thing I have to figure out with Larry. Wait, what? What do you mean the thing you have to figure out with Larry? Didn't I tell you guys? No. Okay, so we all know Larry's net worth, right? I mean, he has more money than the last three husbands combined. So like I did with the other three, I'm going to divorce him and take out the money. The only real problem is he's really in love with me. I mean, I could wait until he dies or give him a little nudge if you know what I mean. <coughs> but that cigar smell is really pushing it for me. But. Don't you have enough money to survive, Tracy? I mean, do you really need to go around breaking all this guy's heart? Please, Silas, this is what I do. Give it a rest. You know what, Tracy? You are who you are. I mean, it's not like we don't have our own fair share of scenes, right? Ah, uh, come on, not you too. I'm not swindling anyone here. And now what? Do I send another girl in the midst? Mm. Not really, I mean... It's no. alright. Aren't we here to eat? Yeah, yes. I'm so Starving. hungry. <laughs> what is this? <coughs> Please, explain to me. I want a divorce, Larry. <laughs> but my love, why do you want a divorce? What did I do wrong? Do not touch me. Tracy, look at me. And explain. Go for it, for sure. I do not love you anymore, Larry. 
Oh, it's about the money, is it? So you will just take all the money I gave you and leave me here all alone? I can't believe it, Tracy. Look, I just feel as if this marriage is not working out anymore. You see, you are old now, and you are ill, and you will die soon. <laughs> wow, Tracy, I can't believe those words came out of your mouth. Let's face it, it's the truth. Larry, I'm going to be a widow anytime soon. What's the difference? Tracy, I now know who you really are. You've just used me all this time. And no, you will not get anything from me. How dare you do that to me? How dare you touch me like that, you old man? They will come for us! They will come for us! Becky, calm down, please! I, uh, I just can't believe this actually happened! Who the heck killed her? She was our friend! How could they do this? We are next! Rebecca! Rebecca. Why do you all look so gloomy? Trace is dead, Silas! <laughs> <coughs> but, but I saw her yesterday in the park. How did this happen? I cannot believe this happening. How? <laughs> Silas, we really don't know what happened either. She was just dead, okay? She just dead outside at the driveway. So, what did the police say? What were you doing there anyways? The police don't know what happened either, okay? Apparently, they were just yelling at each other before it happened, and suddenly she was dead. I'm just taking out the scarf she left at my house, and as soon as I step out, I saw Larry crying next to her body. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't you guys think Larry was the one who did it? I mean, they're probably arguing about the divorce Tracy wanted. Maybe he found out about her little plan to get tons of money. If he killed her, she wouldn't get any money. I don't know, that really makes sense. <sighs> okay, you know what? Guys, listen, she's dead. And we cannot do anything. Let police do their job. All we have to do is protect ourselves, and that's all. Nathan, what you have said, it does make sense. However, I did saw Larry it was kind of guilty yesterday night when I saw him. But you know what? You're right. I guess we shouldn't point any fingers around and just try to keep ourselves safe. However, if Larry was the one who did it, I don't think anything is going to happen to us. Finally, we can spend some time together. I'm still under the shock of Tracy's death. She was not the best person, but she never deserved to be killed. Do you think it was Larry? I mean, he was probably pissed when Tracy mentioned divorce. Nathan, don't go around pointing fingers. There are people here. What 
the hell? Oh my god, not her again. Why does she look so mad? It's not what you think, Rebecca. I cannot believe this after everything we went through. You are too much, Rebecca. You are just too much. Sometimes Dina takes the heat off everything. Excuse me? So I was nothing more than a mistress for you? Let's save this conversation for another time, honey. <gasps> you, wretched. <laughs> that has gone too far, Nathan. I'm leaving. Dvina, wait. Let me explain. Don't talk to me again. I'm already feeling disgusted of thinking that I was just a girl you wanted to sleep with and used to take the heat off. Oh. I told you to wait! Stop! You are hurting me! Enough of this, sir! This lady doesn't listen to you! Nobody ask you so! Back off before I knock you out! You are leaving right now! I don't give a rat ass about all of you! And you're a backer! Consider yourself as dead already! <laughs> All these women constantly after me. <sighs> ah, finally, I can get some sleep. Come, buddy, it's me! Sorry, Ellen, I was just thinking about... I, I understand everything. It's on the edge. What? What's wrong? No, uh, nothing. I mean, uh, let's go to Nathan's house to find him, right? Let's go. Can you with me, please? Yeah, sure. Nathan! Nathan! Are you home? Nathan! Nathan! Okay, you know what? It's not gonna work. So, let's try the door in the garden. I think... Maybe he's in his room. Okay, let's try it. Nathan! Nathan! Is anybody home? Nathan! Oh! Oh my god, Sam! Oh, Ellen. You did it. Hey. Yep, I made it. How have you been doing? So, so. So. Oh my god. Silas, really. How I've been holding up. I mean, nothing is really the same without them. I, I can't believe this. What are we gonna do? Yeah, I mean, I just can't understand why all this is happening. I bet we are next. If those two have died first, and there are only two of us left, I don't know what to do anymore. Now I have to worry about some psychopath with no life, who enjoys killing people and is probably after me right now. Psychopath? Oh, I wouldn't call people like that. I mean, there must be some reason for people to killing, right? Or should I say they have a motivation to do this? Probably. I mean, there has to be a motive. Psychopaths usually have a pattern. We just need to figure out pattern of this one. Gosh, 
How this person so skillful at covering their, their tracks? The police have not been able to get any leads on them. Well, maybe they're just really, really smart. <laughs> but really, Ellen, I don't understand anything that is happening. I mean, do you think we are next? Silas, I can see it's coming to us next as well. Think of it. Tracy is the first one. Then it's Nathan. We're the one who left. Believe it or not, I miss Tracy and Nathan. I mean, I know they were terrible people with really dirty secrets, but they didn't have to go the way they did. Yeah, but think of it. We have our fun moments too, don't we? Remember, we flew to New York and we went to Mexico that summer. Yeah, I think I have some of those photos. Yeah? Maybe we should go through all of the pictures I took of all of us together. These are this such one. great more memories. I know, they are something, aren't they? Wait, 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 wait. Go back, flip it back. No. What is this? Oh, that? It's just a random picture of someone dragging something. I actually thought that this could be the person who, has, who had something to do with Nathan death, and even traces. I forgot to tell you about it. Maybe it could help police out, don't you think? Well, but we cannot tell is this a guy or a girl. I mean, just don't worry so much, Silas. Please, just don't worry so much before we jump to any conclusion. This is just a speculation. Don't hand this in to the police. I mean, really, don't worry that much, Silas. Really. But why, Ellen? I'm confused. This picture could lead us to the killer and save our lives. You know what, Silas? Just burn the photo and then negative. Wait, what? Ellen, what's going on? Oh, gosh. Silas, you know... I just really don't want to do this, but you make me, right? Wait, how are you able to walk? What? I just told you to burn the photo. That's very easy, isn't it? Why did you do it, huh? Why? Why did you do as I told? Wait, Ellen, are you... Uh.